Alright, what's up guys, Magic TK here, and you guys are watching a tutorial on this cool form I used in my flight edits. You guys saw a preview at the beginning of this video, and I basically did it around this RPG in my edit, and it looks really, really cool. So I'm going to be doing a tutorial on it. I'm not sure what I'll call this, but you guys can usually look in the title of the video if you guys really care. So how I start this off is pretty much, it's mostly just trap code form, and so what you guys want to start off with, you're first of all, you're going to need this plugin, so just... Uh, you guys are going to have to find this somewhere or another, whether you get it for free or stuff. I'm not going to provide any download links, as that could, uh, like, screw my channel or something. So I'm not going to risk anything. But you guys, if you guys want to get this plugin, you guys are going to have to go looking for it some way. So, as we can see, I already have this scene tracked. And I'm not going to do a tutorial on tracking, because it is pretty basic. But anyways, we have this form, and it's staying in the scene. It's right over there. So what we're going to do is just move this a little bit backwards basically just align it with our scene so as you can see this white box is just moving along and we're also going to need to rotate it a bit as well just so it aligns better with the rockets so I think that might be good now we just need to mess with the rotation and that looks about right and there we go so now we have these black boxes not really black white boxes in the middle of our scene right there so looks pretty nice actually but there's a few more things we want to do first of all change the base form to a sphere layered and now we get this cool sphere with a couple layers and what I did in this is I just boosted up the size Z I think I did so now we basically have this super super long thing I don't think I made it this one I think I made it like 15,000 particles and then maybe bumped up the sphere layers. Maybe that's a bit much. Okay, let's undo that. <laughs> um, maybe like 15. I don't know what I'm doing here. I think that might be good. Sorry if you guys can hear my parents in the background. That might be kind of, you know, annoying. Alright, let's just keep this at 3 for now. Let's try bumping out the particles and axe. I can't remember what I did to create this sick effect. Yeah, I think this might have been it. So particles and axe and particles and Y. And now we get these. There we go. That looks a bit nicer. So, yeah, particles and axe. I want to put this about, like, maybe, say, 200 each. That should look pretty good. Let's just see, though. Maybe like 500 and 200. All right, that's sick. Now we get these really cool rings around the, the around the RPG. And I actually think I kind of like this one better than the last one. I'm, I'm really liking this cool effect. I think the rotation is still a little bit off though, so we can just fix that up. Pretty much all this is going to be is just aligning the rotation and position of the form. Maybe a bit less. Maybe like negative 25 should look great. Yeah. So guys, I'm not going to line it like perfect, perfect. But when you guys make your edit, you guys want to make it as good as it can get because it's going to be the final copy. And you guys want it to be perfect. So I'm just going to try to line this a little bit better. Maybe that's a bit too much. All right, that should be fine for now. I don't want to, I don't want to spend too much time just on the aligning because that's pretty boring. And you guys can figure out how to do that for yourself. Okay, so we just need to put this a little bit up. A little bit up. Let's go. And then a little bit more to the left. And that should be perfect. So now, you guys may notice, this is looking pretty sweet already. But we have these weird things at the end and at the beginning. So how I fixed that, and I know this probably isn't the best way to do it. But I just turned on some depth of field and I just made some sick depth of field settings. Because... Whenever you guys are doing an edit, make sure it has depth of field because depth of field makes everything look so much nicer now. It's just depth of field is just amazing. So make sure you have depth of field. We're going to turn the focus distance down to like 200 pixels, let's say. And then maybe the aperture like 100. It's pretty big, I know. Maybe like uh, 70 should be fine. And then the blur level like 120. Um, you can even make the focus distance to like 170 as well, just a little bit closer to the camera. 
So now we can see these particles are really not blurred, so everything's focused, and then the particles farther away are really blurred. So that looks really, really nice. We could even pump this up. You guys want to adjust this to how you like it. I think that's a bit too much, maybe like 230 should look great. That looks sweet. So what I did, I just keyframed this, went to the beginning, and like messed with this, maybe made this like 100. Nah, 100 is way too small. 130, let's just try it. Maybe like 170. I don't know, you guys, you guys just wanna mess around with what you guys think looks good. At the end, let's make it a bit more, like maybe 400. See, this is looking pretty sweet so far. It's a bit glitchy on the inside, I think. But we can we can just mess with that a bit later. Yeah, basically all we have is these rings, and it's looking pretty sweet so far. I think I want to turn the particles and X down to like 160, just because there's a bit too many rings. Maybe like 150. Alright, that's looking pretty nice. Now, the last thing I did was I just blurred the background out because this is pretty much the end result other than CC and stuff, which is for another day. So, how, how you do the... Fuck, stop calling me. How you do the blurred background, okay, is you create a new comp, call this blur map, make this the size of your actual comp, which is 1280 by 720, make it the same length, which is... This is longer, which is fine. And then you just want to add a ramp. And the RPG is built like here on the screen. So when I want my ramp, I just want the black parts, which is the non blurred parts, to be above where the RPG is. So let's just move the black up a bit. So basically, everything above here where it starts to get white will be really, really blurred. So. I think that's pretty good. We could even move this down and then make it a bit smoother. That looks pretty nice. So, in the actual comp, let's just go to our project and drag in the pre comp of the blur map. And now you can just go to the actual layer and select a camera lens blur. Whoops, spelt it wrong. And with this camera lens blur, what you want to do is select. Okay, so as you can see, it looks really blurry, it looks really, really beautiful already, but it'll look even better once we select the blur map. And if you guys even wanted to, you could actually mask out the actual RPG so that the RPG isn't blurred. But because there's particles there and we're focused on the particles, it's not going to make too much of a difference in my opinion. So, uh, you want to repeat edge pixels just so the pixels around the edge don't get all weird. And then last thing we do, we want to do is because this isn't the blur map isn't completely white, you want to turn the blur radius up a ton just so that the gray will cancel out. But anyways, that's looking really, really sexy pretty for now. That's about all I did. I did a couple more things. I'll sh whoops, not 500. My computer's about to die. Why did I do this? <clears throat> oh God. All right, I'll be back once it stops glitching out. Okay, so that's pretty dumb. Why would I even put it at 500? Let's put it to 50. <laughs> that, that'll look a bit nicer. Maybe not even, let's just put 40. You don't want to make it too intense because then it'll look too obvious and stuff. But that's about it. Last thing you guys can do, how long have we been going for? Nine minutes, okay, that's not that bad. You can add a glow to the actual particles. It'll look a bit nicer if you wanted to. Set a glow. It's just nice, it always looks beauty, beautiful. Let's just make this maybe like, I don't know, 20. We can even turn the aperture up on the camera. Just pressing AA as well to get that. Make this like 120. Looks a bit nicer. Just so that it's a bit more blurred out at the edges. Um, so now that this glow is done, I want to add an FL glow. And we're pretty much done. FL glow is one of the last effects I like to do. It's really fun to use. So my computer doesn't die. It's so pretty much how I like to use FL glow. Is just make this aberrative which basically splits the RGB channels. So now, this looks pretty ugly at the moment. Once we turn the radius up, it'll look really nice. Yeah, it looks sexy. Let's make this like 500. And you guys say, you're probably thinking this looks stupid, but we can make it a bit nicer. One sec. 
I just want to mess around with some of the settings here. I also I also want it to be probably like 0.5, so it's not so intense. Can you make this negative? Because I think a negative would look really good. No, you can't. Darn it. But anyway, that's that's our final results. I think it looks pretty sweet. There's a lot you guys could do with this. You could make this in a ton of other comps and stuff. So I want you guys to be creative. Like me stuff on Twitter. If you guys made anything with this tutorial, because I'd love to see it, see what you guys are doing with the stuff I'm showing you. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.